My name's Tim Kennedy. I'm a Special Forces sniper, a Ranger, and a Green Beret. And I'm a middleweight fighter in the UFC. Probably the number one contender. I fight of the night knockout awards at Fight for the Troops. And I think this is probably why I'm qualified to teach you how to throw a punch. So right now we're gonna be throwing a right cross. If you're right hand dominant, you want that hand to the rear with your right foot also gonna be to the rear. You wanna have your feet shoulder distance apart. It's like swinging a baseball bat. It's all gonna be rotating power that comes from your hips. It's the most powerful portion of your body. You know, if you're gonna throw an arm punch, there's not much power behind it. You really need to generate everything from the core, butt, hips, and legs. Hands stand nice and high to protect your face. I'm pretty good looking, so I'm gonna keep this hand just a little bit low. When you punch, you wanna be hitting with uh, these two knuckles. This is super weak, easy to break, and also does the least amount of damage. Never hold like this or put your finger out here or leave your thumb out there. Easiest thing to do is take your thumb and just lace it right along the front of your knuckles just like that. Places that you wanna hit, if you're gonna go right down the center, you wanna hit right into the nose or the mouth or the jaw. If you're gonna be hitting off to the side, you wanna hit kind of the temple area, orbital socket or the jaw. Th this is all money right here. Another key thing is you wanna exhale. You know, karate guys are like, and like football players like, Hah! right? You have to have that explosive breathing and there's a reason behind it. Boxers, you hear them go sss, sss, sss. It's cause you're gonna be faster and more powerful when you have that quick exhale. I do like this kind of guttural sound when I punch. So as you drive with your hips, your, your arm's gonna rotate forward and hit with these two knuckles right down the center. That's it. Pretty basic punch right there. So once you get really good at it, you can do this to, I don't know, maybe an ISIS sentry guard. Field guide, how to throw a punch, scene one, take one. Take two. Take three. Take four. Four times, that's what it took. Yeah.